We found 13-year-old Ryan Opio at his parents' home in Nalia, drawing a blue heron, which is a wading bird that commonly lives near the lake shores or wetlands. Opio has a knack for nature and he is now making a canvas painting of what he loves. He explained the process of painting a blue heron. I start with the foundation colors. You see the bird, it has blue, it has orange, it has white. So you just lay out those colors at first. Then you don't get into the detail yet because you need to first blend everything. You make it look like it's just one thing. According to his mother, Emily Awili, Opio's love for art started when he was only four years. He used to sit on his building block for hours and he would do different things and for hours without eating you would find him creating a home with a different story or a garage or something and we wondered what, was, what he was up to. And at six years of age he started painting. He would get comic books and try to copy the, to sketch the, the paintings he would see, the pictures he would see. And um, when he was about nine we took a walk to Metroplex and we passed a photo gallery, a studio, an art studio, and he saw paintings. And as we were moving ahead, we realized he wasn't with us. So when we turned back, we found him actually inside the gallery looking at the paintings. The 13-year-old explained how his painting journey started. I first started with mixing colors, like just shading and combining different colors. After, when it came to the drawing, we used shapes because we didn't, normally just draw something. If you're drawing like um, a car, you need to draw the rectangles. His parents had a teacher for him. It was easy to train Ryan because he knew what he wanted. He knew, he was passionate about art. Um, I was in a studio and he was, and he found me painting. Then he wanted to learn how to paint. So his passion drove him to take a step and learn to paint and learn to sketch. In 2017, he made his first painting of a sunset. I did it for my mom a few days after her birthday. So, yes, that was the painting. It was really orange. Some people thought maybe when I was painting it, I was angry or I had many things going through my head, but I wasn't. I just like landscapes, sunsets. I don't paint using my emotions like other artists. I like painting what other people find interesting. Opio has been selling the paintings. Ryan says he takes about eight days to draw a painting like this one and he uses two hours every day, meaning he takes eight hours to complete such a piece and it costs about 150000 to 300000 depending on the size of the canvas and the much detail that he has to add onto the painting. But one thing about him is that he does not involve his emotions while drawing these pictures. Uh, but the moment you want him to repeat it, a painting like this one, it will cost you more. So why? Because it removes the thrill out of starting a new painting. Because it's just something you've already done before, so it's not as fun. He sold his first painting at 30,000 shillings. He got the idea of this painting during a family holiday in Mombasa. His first dream was to be a pilot. I wanted to be a pilot because they, they look nice, I guess. That's when I was young, but then when I started doing art, I realized that I should um, improve on my talents. So I decided to continue doing art and trying to make a foundation, something I can start with. When he's working, he always wants his space. In my heart, I, it feels like they're judging me, but since I'm an uh, artist, they shouldn't care what other people think about their painting, because it's your painting. But I am I'm sort of also shy and I also feel like there's too much pressure. So I like painting when it's just me. While some call particular ideas mistakes, he says the mistake in fine art is actually a new design. Indeed, Opio says he doesn't make mistakes. If you make a wrong color, you can easily make it adapt to the painting. It depends on how good you are with colors. There could be some children, just like you, who would love to start fine art, especially at the time now, like now when they are uh, under lockdown and schools are closed. What would be a message to them? They should love what they do. You can't paint without loving to paint. If you get a paintbrush with, let's say, a green color, put it on the canvas. If it doesn't look nice, 
keep trying because if you stop there and you give up you won't go anywhere Opio's parents say that instead of making choices for him, they have learned to motivate him in a field he loves. Given the way the, the global world we live in right now, it's a talent that takes someone ahead. So I would advise parents to invest, to take time to understand the talent of their children, invest in it, give the time, uh, provide the support the child needs. Ryan Opio loves fine art and mathematics, and as he waits to become one of the best architects, he has a job before even joining university. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.